What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So we're going to check out Jim Cornette on Hulk Hogan appearing at the Republican National Convention. Now, I know this is going to be hilarious because we all know how Jim Cornette feels about Donald Trump. And we all know how he feels about Hulk Hogan and, you know, some of the lies he has told recently about certain things that didn't happen the way they were supposed to have happened so the fact that we got hulk hogan giving this wwf style promo at this uh republican national convention and the fact that you know he's doing this for donald trump i already know jim Cornette's gonna have some very critical words for hulk hogan and donald trump and i'm really just here to watch it for the entertainment purposes because i know it's gonna be hilarious appreciate all the love and support man Let's get right into this one. Well, we are now here in the future, Jim. There are a few things to talk about. AEW Dynamite. We have to talk about that. An interesting addition <clears throat> this week. Anything you want to say because the listeners are somewhat demanding it. <laughs> Hulk Hogan yeah. made an appearance and cut a promo at the Republican National Convention last night as we are recording. Did you see it? Any thoughts on it? Well, and see, you lead me to one thing. I was going to be in a positive mood, and then you jerk the rug out from under me. We go back to this dip shit. You know, we Here have... We go. Here we go. We have made fun of Hulk Hogan, and rightfully so, for the big, giant, whopping bullshit lies that he tells. Like I just said. Every time he's in front of three people or more. And it's funny, because it's easily disprovable bullshit you can look it up at any number of sources is verifiable things that he's just pulling out of his ass and just lying about and you can easily take it apart if you have any time or inclination to do so and it's funny because it's hulk hogan yeah <laughs> but now <laughs> i mean i've heard of the friars club but they've started the liars club here we go Liars, thieves, assholes, and criminals. <laughs> and they are and grifters. They all got together. And Hulk Hogan was invited to speak at one of our country's <laughs> national political conventions because they are the party of the stupid, gullible, <laughs> dullard sucker. Oh my god. That is perfect for Hulk Hogan's bullshit that doesn't laugh at him anymore. And they ate it up. Brother. <laughs> Brother. In the wrestling <laughs> business, we've been listening to it for 40 years. And it was honestly, in the 80s, it was for kids and the real marks, the Vince and Hulk's opinion of what a pro wrestling superstar should be. Which is why in many of the territories, they got laughed out for a while because it was so fucking over the top bullshit. But it worked for the general populace. And now it, and you've got, I mean, we know that Vince and Trump are bosom buddies. Mm -hmm. And Dana White is swinging off fucking the mango Mussolini's fucking tiny mushroom headed penis. Hey, Just yo. every chance he gets, Bro, he's got his lips is, locked around. That is a wild statement, a wild description of Donald Trump, bro. That's, that's wild, bro. That's, that is it. <laughs> what? What? Hi, man. I'm the fucking man. Oh my God. And now Hulk Hogan wants to get in on it. And the only person that tells more lies than Hulk Hogan does <laughs> is the pig-faced piece of shit that they are trying to reinstall in the White House. <laughs> but he's not funny. It's not funny. Because Hulk Hogan's lying about being a bassist for Metallica or slamming a 700-pound giant. <laughs> you can laugh. Because it's bullshit, and, but it's not important bullshit. But you cannot laugh at Trump's bullshit because it is earth-endangering bullshit. <laughs> These pod people that have been taken over by this space virus 
are supporting him to be the most powerful man in the world again after he's already installed a bunch of judges and other criminal malcontents and sycophants in important places and stack the Supreme Court to where the country will suffer for the next 50 years already. And he will be accountable for nothing and there will be no way to stop him. <laughs> and that is what... On the cool, it sounds like <laughs> Jim Cornette is describing an evil villain. <laughs> and that's how uh, some people view Trump as an evil villain. A villain that won't be stopped. <laughs> Is there some truth to probably what he's saying? Possibly, bro. Either way, I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to get too political. We're talking here. <laughs> it's it's involving some wrestling, so I'm going to keep that, you know, apart. Because once you get political, things get a little testy in the comment section. But I will say this, man. It's, yeah, America, man. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say it is. Yeah, just hold on, guys. <laughs> Why it's not funny Jesus. when a funny liar like Hulk Hogan endorses this criminal psychopathic fucking liar that's a clear and present danger to our country and all of us individually. <laughs> and there's two kinds of people out there doing this. The, the genetically ignorant that actually really believe that this fucking guy for any myriad of reasons that have been shown on audio and video and are documentable and verifiable He's going in. shouldn't be in charge of anything but his own prison cell. But they think that he should, and they believe this with their hearts. That's why they are genetically ignorant. There is something <laughs> wrong with them from the start that led them to this point. So if you're a Trump supporter, he basically called you genetically ignorant, bro. It's in your genetics. It's in your genes that you're just meant to be ignorant. <laughs> but willfully ignorant is the people like Hulk Hogan and other who want to, and, and anybody who capitalizes on their opportunity to help a criminal <laughs> into a position that is a problem for all of us just because they think they'll profit from it because they'll be better off. But guy, he likes us. Trump's a wrestling mark. So they're Hulk Hogan, a fucking grifter. <laughs> they, he'll be secretary of state, brother. And he can talk about how he's been hanging and banging with Donnie Bay or whatever the fuck. That's all he cares about himself. These narcissists and grifters are going to latch on Kid Rock. I mean, it's like they emptied every trailer park in Mississippi to put this fucking display on. <laughs> They're all going to latch onto this fucking asshole because they think they will profit and fuck everybody else in the world and fuck the country. What about me? And we all know that's what Hulk Hogan is, but now it's dangerous. So it's not funny with him anymore. It's fucking dangerous. Just like it's dangerous for anybody else to normalize this fucking cretin <laughs> or cretin. in any way attempt to enable these people to shovel him down our throats and into the White House again. And I'm sorry that some 20-year-old pimply-faced dipshit has somehow made the most wretched human scum that has ever walked the face of our planet a sympathetic hero oh, but yeah. we've still got to he's talking about uh um the young man that tried to you know take out trump so i mean he ultimately did make him a sympathetic hero he did he did and once again i don't condone anything that was ha that was potentially could have happened to trump because you know it I think that's a little bit too extreme. Some would say he deserves it. I'm not going to say that because I'm I'm not I'm not in that position to just view him that way. You know, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of him. I can be honest with y'all there, but I wouldn't wish death on the guy. You feel me? Some people would. So that's their opinion. I don't necessarily agree with it. But what came out of this is him being viewed as this this bigger hero because he didn't, you know, you know, he, he survived, essentially. He survived. So, 
I don't know if that was uh, homie's intention, you know, not homie, but, you know, old dude's intention when he initially tried to take him out, but it worked. It worked in the sense of now he's he's even bigger than he was before. Now people are really trying to support uh, Trump to win uh, again. So I don't know, man. To live in the real world. And he is unwell, unfit, unqualified, and unacceptable to normal humans. <laughs> oh, man. So it, it, and for people who think that it always oh, political difference, Cornette will cast aside friendships for political differences. Would it be a political difference that you would end a friendship over if a friend of yours suddenly started fucking knocking old women over the head in the street, stealing their purse, fucking breaking into homes, stealing people's <laughs> belongings. He's going to the extreme. With Would this you comparison. support that friend? Because it's just a, a moral difference that we have. No, fuck you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do not support space spores taking over people's minds, turning them into zombies <laughs> that will follow this fucking Come gargling cretin. Hey, yo. What? Fucking idiots. <laughs> Why did you start me off with this today? A lot of the <laughs> listeners were asking about the Hulk Hogan promo. At the well, a scene. lot of the listeners heard about it. He And he's out there doing his shit and the fucking gullible marks that haven't seen it because they're not in the wrestling bubble. Yeah. They're eating it up like they were 40 years ago because mm -hmm. they're gullible marks or they wouldn't fucking be there at the Republican National Convention, <laughs> a.k.a. the run-through for the next fucking American Reich. Jesus. I mean, they even tried to make the stage look like Nazi Germany. What do you mean? Except, except Hitler didn't. Well, with all the flags and the displays, we're going to deport. They think they're going to deport 15 or 20 million people. And then the experts the next day said, yeah, it would take 20 years and hundreds of billions of dollars. And of course, many of them probably wouldn't want to go and leave behind their wives and children. Fucking morons. <laughs> and... and the only thing that Hitler didn't have was Eva Braun fingering herself under her skirt on the screen behind him. What? Do you what? see that clip? No, I did not. I don't even know what you're talking what? about. There's a clip of Eva Braun fingering herself? No, no. She the was a, a lady. fuck are you watching? <laughs> she was a lady. She didn't do that. They didn't have that there in Nazi Germany, but we got it here in America in addition to this other parade of genetic misfits living downstream from the nuclear plant making us all look like goddamn... <laughs> morons to the world they got a big shot of president pig shit and on the video screen behind him some way or another they have what the kimberly guilfoyle that the one that's gone ape shit with the plastic <laughs> surgery and her face looks like it's melting she's 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 got her hand under her skirt in her crotch look it up on twitter right now if i'm lying i'm flying my feet ain't left the ground she is, people were talking about, has she got the critters from, what is it, Don Jr. that she's engaged in a business fucking relationship with? What is going on? I'm not uh, Googling what you uh, talked about. I'm trying to find it. But uh, yeah, she's uh, the fiance of Donald Trump Jr., I believe. Yeah, well, apparently he's got the cooties. <laughs> what? Because she was, if it wasn't pleasuring herself, it was attending to goddamn some type of what exactly? activity going on down there. What exactly am I looking up? Kimberly Guilfoyle crotch? What, what do you think? That'll, that'll probably work oh from what God. I saw. I would think a lot of people are looking that up. <laughs> uh, Can you find it? Well, the first thing that came up was, again, I'm just going to say what came up from 2018. This came up on a Google search of Kimberly Guilfoyle crotch from SF Gate. Kimberly Guilfoyle's fox exit tied to penis pics. What? I don't know where it goes from there, but apparently she had to leave the fox broadcast system or whatever because of penis pics. But it doesn't sound like that has anything to do with an itchy Do crotch. you think that's what she was doing? She was tucking herself? 
Oh, come on. Whoa. You stop it. <laughs> what? How is she sending Behave penis yourself. pictures Behave unless yourself. she's got a penis? That wasn't what I said. You need to be. What, well, anyway, are you going to find this? This I can't find it. I Googled it in RNC crotch. I'm, I'm trying every fucking kind of search that I don't want on my computer. <laughs> I, 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 I believe I retweeted it earlier. Oh, I, think I, I think I did. Either Hold that, on. maybe I, I might not have retweeted it because it had his face in it, but I saw it on Twitter. I laughed at it. Why wouldn't you have led with that? Hold on. What is going well, maybe on? I, I don't know. Now you've got me questioning. I'm just going to search. Uh, what the <laughs> fuck would that be? What is going on? Uh, how do you spell a gill foil? Uh, G. Oh, no, this is just a different thing you posted of her, I guess. G U I. Wait, I think I got it. Okay, here it is. I'm about to retweet it right there. Boom. Now you'll see it. Hold Go on. Go to your page. It's exciting yeah. video here. Oh, she's gripping it, too. It's like she's got a fucking bowling ball grip up in there. Hold on. I got to see. Oh. Yes, the, 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 the video content is there, and the tweet says, I did not have Kimberly Guilfoyle scratching her balls on national television on my 2024 bingo card. Uh, right behind Donald Trump's Right head. behind him. The, yes. <laughs> it's almost like she, she's endorsing the pussy grabber by grabbing her own pussy. Hey, <laughs> yo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny, bro. What? <laughs> Con man, real estate fraud, father-in-law that you think you're going to get in the will some kind of way and, and you're going to have some power. Your solidarity there. Yeah, I just seen it on his Twitter. Whoa. That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> There, but I'll grab my own pussy. Hey, can I ask you something? That's wild, bro. You, sh you hear a lot of Democrats try to boost Gavin Newsom. When you realize that Gavin Newsom was married to her, you know, crazy doesn't just start at Which I did not realize until just uh, realize I didn't know until just recently. And now I'm, I'm afraid that unfortunately makes me question his judgment and I don't think I could ever give him my presidential vote because he's got to have something wrong with him to have a, so it, it did now to be fair did she have some kind of horrendous accident car wreck fall off a building that affected her brain as she had her the the Shibata brain surgery or anything where what? she would before she was normal and now she's like this I don't, well, hold on, let me move past it because it's a, it's a gif that you posted. It just keeps repeating over and over again. It's yes, yes, pulling me in. <laughs> pulling um, me in. Hey, yo. Better, better be glad she didn't have a hold of you. She would have stuffed you in. Hey, yo. Uh, what was your question? No, I don't think she had a horrendous accident or anything that I know of. I think it's just, uh, you know, she's older than Don Jr. by at least 10 years, maybe 15 years. No, I'm, I'm talking about Newsom. If he had any thing to do with that in his real life and yeah, i mean Ga gavin newsom's a very polished uh certainly uh he, he's he's a mover upper <laughs> you know, he certainly wants to he has an agenda and everything but you know you look at that and then you look at the state of california uh more importantly i don't know but i guess real quick on this topic would you step in if your country said Jim Cornette? We need someone with hey yo your oh, reasoning. Man. Oh man, your <laughs> oh, well. Man. Let's just stop there. Your reasoning. Would you step <laughs> in and run for president right now? Are you out of it? No, it's completely ridiculous. Obviously, nay, that wouldn't happen even if we were on the planet Neptune. <laughs> I'm more qualified than Donald Trump, and that's obvious because almost every human being on the world would be more qualified. Because at least if, even if it was a criminal, it wouldn't be a malignant narcissist criminal. Or at least if it was a malignant narcissist criminal, he also wouldn't be a pathological liar and a scumbag and a fucking serial... A, a sexual abuser and a goddamn white collar criminal, but ignoring all those other things, no. But if you know what, here's what I might do: I might run for president if I could win, just to nominate somebody that would actually be a good fucking president. All right, now that I'm the president, here, this guy's gonna be the president. Fuck all y'all, I'm going home. <laughs> 
at least somebody with some fucking logical sense would be doing that <laughs> job. But no, people who shouldn't be in charge of everyone's life and liberty and lawmaking should realize that. <laughs> and that, it goes for all parties, but especially the fucking batshit crazy one that gives us hand job Bobert and Marjorie Trees and Green and all these what? unserious fucking idiots who think just like their constituents who are redneck, hillbilly, stupid fucking people. <laughs> I'm sorry if you vote for fucking Lauren Boebert to go to Washington, you're a stupid fucking person. Because these are not real, legitimate, serious fucking politicians. Republican or Democrat. John McCain would look like Barack Obama to me right now. I would fucking hoist him up on my shoulders. <laughs> At least he wasn't a goddamn criminal simpleton. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> all right, well, before we move past the uh And there are review. Republicans against Trump. And by the way, George Conway <laughs> is now... I've never made a political donation in my life. <laughs> Kids, illnesses, and animals. Get all my money if I donate to anything. <laughs> but he has started a, a political action committee, basically the anti-psychopath committee. <laughs> and they're... He started with like three, I think $343,434.34, all 34s for all 34 felonies that Trump's been convicted of so far of his own money. Damn. And they're raising money, and the goal is to show everybody in the world as if they couldn't already tell by turning on a television or reading a newspaper what a fucking psychopath this goddamn guy is. <laughs> and I'm going to send them some fucking money. That's crazy. Because I want to be part of that. Because yeah. <laughs> at least, depending on how many stupid fucking pod people we got in this country, at least I can either say, thank fucking God, or I told you all so after November. But I will have done something to try to preserve our goddamn democracy from these fucking literal shit brains. <laughs> Bro. I am done, dog. If Jim was ever to be the president for one day, we already know Vince Russo is screwed. I just want you to know that Vince Russo is screwed. He's going to send some specialized individuals to take Vince Russo out. Dead ass. So it's probably a good thing because Vince Russo would be screwed. He would have to leave the country. And even then, <laughs> fucking, fucking Jim would find him, man. This was a wild one, bro. I expected, I expected Jim to go in on Trump because if you know anything about him, he hates Donald Trump. It's Vince Russo and then it's Donald Trump at this point. And honestly, I think Donald Trump may be a little bit higher. It's getting to that point um, that he despised and loathes. But the fact that we had Hulk Hogan giving his Hulk Hogan type promo and Jim's just like, yo, what is this, bro? Oh, my. We've already seen it as wrestling fans, but now he's doing this, and it's 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 just, just a circus, just madness. I knew this was going to be hilarious, man. Comment down below. Let me know. How did y'all feel about the Hulk Hogan uh, pro promo for the uh, Republican National Convention? How did y'all feel about that, man? <laughs> me, personally, once I saw that, I was just like, Am I surprised? No. <laughs> I wasn't surprised at all. I was just like, oh, that sounds about Hulk Hogan-ish thing. That's a Hulk Hogan thing to do. So, But appreciate all love support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See you on the next one. Peace.